Hi, it's David here from the PPC machine and today I want to talk to you about a feature of Google Analytics which can help you improve the targeting of your Google Ads campaigns. Now, when I do digital marketing audits for clients, one of the first things I do is to go into their Google Analytics account and check that all the additional features of analytics which might be useful are actually enabled or configured correctly. And nine times out of 10, I find that one of those features which is not enabled is the reporting for demographic information and um, audience interests. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, so here's a Google Analytics account where this is not configured. And if I go into the audience section, you'll see here we've got a section for demographics. And in there, we've got reports um, for information about the age and the gender of the people who are visiting the website. Now, if I click into the overview bit there, you'll see that because this is an analytics account where these reports have not been enabled, uh, we've, got an ex we've got some information here showing what those reports are about and what information we could get if we, if we enabled them. And then up the top here, there's a button we can click to turn those reports on. Uh, as it says here, you should um, make sure that your privacy policy on your website um, has certain bits of information in it before you enable that. And if you click the learn more link there, it will give you details about what those are. But for now, all we're gonna do is just click the enable button and that has now turned on these reports for demographics and for interests. And as it says there, it could be up to 24 hours before you start seeing data. So if you haven't already done that, that is something that I would highly recommend you do because as you'll see, if we go into this different account here where um, those reports have been enabled for some time, you'll see that now if I go into that same bit, demographics overview, I get a summary of the age bands of the people visiting this site and the gender split. And if I go into, I'll go into gender first of all, I'll go into gender here, I can then get a more detailed report on that. So you can see here my graph, um, you can see straight away um, from the color coding that the orange section, female, is much bigger than male. Um, so this is this particular site has a much higher number of women than men as, as visitors. Um, and if we look at the table here, yeah, you can see it's almost double the number of visitors of women um, compared to men. Now, whilst that in itself is quite interesting, where um, it can get even more interesting is if we look at um, our conversion data. So this is um, a site that is an e-commerce site. It uh, um, sells holidays. And if you look at the data here, we can see that um, we've had a lot more transactions from women than from men, which is um, perhaps understandable given that we've got a lot more women visitors. You can see how the revenue splits down between them, but you can also see the conversion rate. Um, and so what you can see here is that although we get a lot more uh, female visitors, the percentage of them that um, actually make a purchase is slightly lower than uh, than it is with the men. And see on some other sites, you might see you know, a much bigger difference between between the two genders. And that might lead you to, um, in terms of your Google ad strategy, you might decide to bid more money um, for female visitors than for male or vice versa, depending on what your, your stats here show. Um, in a similar way, if we go into the age report and look at the table here, I've got this sorted by number of transactions. I think what I will have if I click on here, here we are. So you can see that uh, in terms of the number of transactions, it's the 55 to 64 year olds um, who've, who've made the most bookings. And again, look at the conversion rate. We can see here that uh, we've got a much higher conversion rate for this top age band, the 55 to 64s, uh, than we have, for example, for um, this one here, 0.94, that's the 35 to 44s. So again, even if, um, you know, this is data from all the kinds of visitors to, the, to this site, uh, if we were looking at this and thinking, well, we're going to invest some money in Google Ads, um, how do we want to allocate our budget? This historic data here suggests that if we we're going to start running Google Ads now, uh, we'd be we'd get a better return on investment targeting the 55 to 64 age band um, than we would some of the others. 
So that can that can help determine your Google Ads strategy. Now, if we look in interest, which is the other section that um, becomes enabled by uh, by what we did earlier on, we can look at what what kind of hobbies or interests our visitors have got. And it, these are shown in two different sections, affinity categories and in-market segments. And basically affinity categories are things where Google has identified that someone has a long-term interest in a particular in a particular thing. Um, and it bases that on their browsing history and, uh, and things like that. So if we look at our affinity categories for this site, we can see that um, most of the a lot of our users, 5,000 odd, or nearly 6,000 out of 8,500, have a long-term interest in news and politics, and they look at news websites and that kind of thing, um, closely followed by people who are uh, foodies into food and dining and cooking. Um, and again, let's go to that sidebar. We can see the conversion rate for different things here. Um, and Google Ads lets you target people based on their long-term interests as well. So if you were doing some display advertising in Google Ads, you might decide based on this that, um, let's look at our conversion, sort it by conversion rate. Um, and look, so here's one where we've got a reasonable number of uh, transactions, nine transactions and a high conversion rate. Um, and it's for music lovers, um, folk and traditional music enthusiasts. So we might decide they were a good um, group of people to target with display ads on, on um, on Google um, or we might decide to show our display ads on websites which were to do with folk music or um, entertainment or whatever um, switch this back to search to sort by transactions okay um, so that's about the long-term interest and then the other kind of interest report we have is in market segments where people are identified by Google as currently being in the market to buy particular things. So if I click into that, we can now see, unsurprisingly, I guess, that the biggest number of visitors to this site, which is, as I said, a holiday booking site, are people who are currently in the market to buy travel, hotels, accommodation. Um, and we can, again, look at the, uh, the conversion rates on these. Um, now, again, doing that, we can see we've got high conversion rates um, among interesting people who, inter who are currently looking to buy computers and peripherals, although it's, it's only two transactions, so you can't necessarily judge a lot on that. But again, by looking at this, you might see patterns in your data that people who are currently looking to buy one particular thing are the ones who are also more likely to convert on your on your website as well. Um, and again, that can then you can use that information to drive the strategy that you have in Google Ads. Um, so I hope that's useful. As I say, if you haven't enabled these reports, um, you should, I recommend you do so as soon as possible by going into the demographics overview um, and clicking that enable button uh, and then leave it, uh, leave it for a few weeks uh, to gather some data and then uh, take a look and see if there's any interesting patterns or trends in there which can help you adjust your Google Ads strategy to ultimately get a better return on your advertising investment. Thanks very much. I'll see you again soon.